Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club and I'm going to be making a Christmas layout today using the 2018 December kits. And I wanted to focus on these big die cut ornaments. They are exclusive this month. I think they're really cute and I wanted to kind of scatter them around I would say the top three quarters of the page and sort of just have them hanging down and uh, I decided to go with pattern paper as my background as opposed to white which I use a lot but um, I really like this light blue paper and I think it's really pretty mixed in with the pinks and the reds and the darker teals in the ornaments. So I'm going to use white gesso here to kind of soften up some of the paper, especially where the ornaments are going to go, because I wanted them to really stand out and pop off the page. So I coated the gesso on first, and then I started working on my background and realized that my button had not been pressed to hit record because I had a blonde moment. And then I decided, oh, I should probably push that. But you didn't really miss anything because I'm doing the same thing here. All I'm doing is I'm taking the three uh, products that we got from Shimmers in the color kit and adding just a smidgen of color to this white background here. I'm using the rednecking, which is the red, and I'm just splattering it down. And then I'm taking the Spun Sugar Dazzlers, which is a shimmery smooth texture paste, and scraping it on top of the dots to kind of just make it a very soft hint of the color in the background. I also did it with the green, which is called the holly and the ivy, and then added more splatters. I pulled out the gold. This is the minor minor 49er from, I think, the August kits. And um, yeah, I'm just giving some splatters here. I love the splatter look because it just kind of reminds me of Christmas lights. And you can kind of see here the shimmer from that Dazzler's texture paste and from all the colors. So I didn't want the background to be just solid white. And so you can kind of see the tints of the color. I wanted it to be very soft and light, but just to add a little something to the background so it wouldn't be just completely white. And you can still see some of the pattern from the paper through there, but I like how this makes the ornaments stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back and just sort of place all the ornaments on mostly the top part of the paper, and they're gonna kinda come down to a slant where that green oblong one is. That's gonna be sort of the point of where they are gonna come down at. And my thought was, um, at first I thought I wanted to add foam adhesive behind all these and raise them up off the page, but then I decided not to because I wanted to do some stitching. So in order to do that, I want the lines to be as straight as I can make them. And so I'm going to use a pencil and my ruler here just to draw a light line from the top of each ornament to the top of the paper. And I've really been inspired by Paige Evans and her chain stitching. And I have not tried it yet. And let me just say my hat's off to her because... This took me a while, and I didn't even really do that much, but I wanted to try it, and I actually practiced it on some scrap paper before I attempted this, because I've watched her do it in many of her videos, and it always looks perfect. And it's actually not hard. You, you come up from the bottom of the hole, and then you go back down through the same hole. You kind of have to move the thread over, go back through the same hole, and hold the thread with your other hand and when you almost get it pulled through keep a little loop there and put your finger on it over the very next hole and then you come up through the bottom needle comes through the hole through that loop that you're holding with your finger and then you pull it and it just creates this really fun chain link look and at first I was very slow this was me in real time and then I sped it up because <laughs> you don't want to watch me attempt to do this through each of these ornaments. So I eventually turned the camera off and just finished it. But I used a light pink thread, I used a light teal thread, and I used some metallic gold, which was not easy because metallic thread is not soft like the cotton thread. So I had a time trying to work it. But And some of it is crooked, but you know what? It was fun to do, and I love how this looks. Definitely looks homemade, but for my first attempt, I was kind of happy with how it turned out, and I love this effect. It looks like the ornaments are hanging down, and I love that. And so 
Here are the funny pictures that I'm scrapbooking. I've actually scrapped these a few years ago in black and white, but I printed them in color this time because her shirt matches those red and white striped ornaments perfectly. And uh, she's just making some silly faces, which is <laughs> what she does. And I just thought they were cute and funny. And these were, I think, Christmas Eve. So technically they are Christmas pictures, but they're just close-ups of her coming at me as I'm trying to get her picture. So I printed um, two of them kind of small and I'm going to sort of uh, place them over in the open space over on the left side. And that was one thing I love about creating a background like this is most of the background, I would say over half of it is already done. And this is going to limit the places that my photos can go. And so I think this, this kind of design using a lot of things like this or a big cut file it uh, helps you with your design because it limits where you can put other things, if that makes any sense. So what I'm just using to back my photos here with are some of the uh, packaging that we got from Hip Kits this month and the, a lot of the exclusive things, which pretty much everything was exclusive. And um, there's lots of white with dots, and so I thought that would make a great layer. And then um, around the photos, I wanted to not use a lot of red because there's already a lot of red going on. So I pulled out some pink things and most of the things that are pink in the kits are those round snowflakes. I pulled out the chipboard and wanted to use some frames and then I discovered that within the frames there were like little outlines of the next size frame inside the big frame and it was the perfect thing to add to the sides of the photos even though it's red it's very soft and subtle well not soft in the color but it's very small it's just a thin line and so it's just going to add a little touch of something peeking out from behind the sides of the photos there and i am going to raise the photos up since i did not raise the ornaments up with some foam and they're already going to be lifted up a little bit because of these chipboard pieces here that I'm using. And I pulled out another thin frame that was the teal, the darker teal color, and I'm going to use that as just a little sliver of color between the two photos because I'm going to overlap those. And I'm going to start to build the things that I know are going to go around the photo. And as I was making this, I kind of wished, kind of wish that I would have well, I'll tell you that in a minute. I just moved the pictures. I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, here's me again taking away some of the brassiness of these gold thickers. I wanted to soften up the gold and make it more of a matte gold. And I wanted to use either the word joyful or jolly good for my title, and I couldn't decide. So I went ahead and just rubbed some white gesso over both of those. And then I wanted to use the word laughter. So I was either going to have joyful laughter or jolly good laughter, but I didn't want to use laughter in navy blue because I don't have any navy blue going on. So here's another way that you can change color. Just add some gesso, let it dry. You may need a couple of layers since this word laughter was so dark. And then I'm using some of the Well Blew Me Down shimmers from, I don't even remember what color kit that was. And I'm just painting it on. And this is going to give these uh, letters here a whole different color that's going to match my color scheme. But what I was saying is I originally was going to put the photo on the left up a little bit higher so it was closer to that pink ornament and take up that space. But for some reason, I decided to put the right photo up higher than the left. And I didn't realize that I didn't want to do that until after I glued everything down. And I looked at it and I thought, well, now I have this open space hanging between that pink ornament and the photo on the left and it was just bugging me. So I, uh, I'm i going to add some stuff here in a little bit to kind of make me feel better about that because it, it just makes more sense to push that left photo up higher, but I don't know. I just didn't for some reason. I don't know. But you see now what I'm talking about? It's bugging me because there's room to move that one up higher. But anyway, we'll see what happens as we go. So here's me trying to decide, do I want to use Joyful or do I want to use Jolly Good? I love the way both of those looked. But for some reason, the words Jolly Good just jumped out at me because I just love the word Jolly. And you never get to really use the word Jolly 
except at Christmas time. I just associate that word with Christmas, and she is clearly having a jolly good time. She's almost got her eyes crossed in the first picture, and she was basically trying to get away from me as I was taking her picture in the second one. And uh, yeah, she was having a jolly good time trying to make faces and get away from me. So I just decided on jolly good and I just stuck those letters right on top of the photo there. And um, I had not used any of these epoxy circle stickers yet. And so I'm gonna use a couple of those and some more of the puffy stickers. And I try to use a couple things of the uh, the bright green because I do have a couple of the green ornaments. So I added a green sticker over to the left. And I'm going to make sure all this is glued down. And here's something else you can do even with the metallic gold die cuts. If they're too shiny for you, see the difference there? Just smudge some white gesso over it and it instantly softens it up and takes away some of that brassiness. And But they're still shiny gold. It's just not as bright. And so here's me fixing that gap in between the, the top or the photo on the left and that ornament. So I'm going to add in a gold snowflake there and then a little poinsettia sticker or chipboard sticker and then that little Dear Santa die cut. And so that's going to kind of help that open space there. And now it doesn't look so bad. If I had to do it again, I would shift the photos, but that's okay. I think it turned out okay. I'm going to add another epoxy circle sticker underneath there to add a pop of green and then go ahead and add laughter since that's all nice and dry. And I am going to go back and add, glue down each of these letters because nothing ever sticks to gesso. It doesn't matter what it is. So either stitch through it or add glue behind it because 99.9% .9 chance it's going to come off. Uh, the la one of the last things I'm going to do is add a little bit of journaling. And I had a lot of space here for journaling, so I just decided to do a little bit over on the right. And I'm going to use my gold pen since I've got some gold going on. And then I wanted to add snow because I just think it's fun to add snow to Christmas pages. So I just water down some white acrylic paint and then uh, go to town with my brush, just splattering here and splattering there. And that is going to wrap this up, I think. Yep, that's the final layout. Uh, I really like how this turned out. I really love that uh, stitching and I think it was fun to do something different. I uh, Every now and then I get a wild hair to do some uh, hand stitching and then once I'm done and my hand is all cramped up I'm like okay I'm good for about six months now. I got it out of my system but the result is always really really fun and uh, I think it looks really cool with those ornaments. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, uh, I'm really enjoying seeing all of your creations over on the Hip Kit group over on Facebook. Keep them coming because they're really inspiring. And so, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great week and a happy new year. See you in the next video.